Welcome, it's Sunday again and time for some records. We start with a great rock album here. Neil Young, Landing on Water. It was released 1986. And uh, I really like this album. The whole album is great. <clears throat> Sorry for that. And uh, you see the cover artwork here. Uh, Neil has just recorded the album and uh, he's sitting on a plane and read this brochure and that was a kind of catastrophe plan if something happened like the plan must landing on water. So this was the pictures in the brochure and he thought it was really ridiculous because if something like that happened everyone should die but it it's for sure a cool cool cover really but uh, as i say really really great rock album he's back to the rock here because the album before going in country style but here is pure rock great rock album that's something you must check out. Next up, <clears throat> time for a Swedish artist again. This time it's Barbro Svensson, but uh, no one ever said that because she was Lilbabs with the whole Swedish people. And so famous and so popular here. And... Um, I can say nearly everyone likes her. She had a long career for sure. Uh, sadly enough, she passed away 2018, 80 years old. But I was surprised when I heard this album because she she have uh, music in typical Swedish uh, slager and so on. But this album is a pop album. I have never heard her sing songs like this. Uh, I don't know if I named that, but this album was released 1984. And here, this girl here, Christine Kaspersen, is one of her daughters. And she is involved in some songs. And the one in the description I have given you is with Christine also. So, for sure. I like this album and it's also pretty cool. Back, back uh, cover here at the, the album. And there we have a photo of Christine again. So yes, for sure. This is absolutely something you should check and listen to. It's absolutely worth it. And of course... No episode without metal. We have a British thrash metal band here, Paria. Uh, I believe there are some members from the band that was called Satan that uh, formed Paria. This album, Blaze of Obscurity, was released 1989. And that's also <laughs> really, really cool cover for sure. But uh, 89 was a hard year to because this album is so great, but it never hit the, the big audience because 89 was hard. There was many big bands that have their upswings, so this album not be noticed the way it deserved. But it's a fantastic metal album, I will say. Have the songs here. And the band, and some photo here, live photos. So Peria is for sure <clears throat> something you must check out. It's absolutely worth it. I hope you all had have a great, great weekend here with the Eastern. Okay, hopefully when we see each other next time is next weekend and a new kiss song 
I really hope it. Uh, I make it this time so I don't uh, fail. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.